Okay, energy is definitely a very important topic today, and we are facing major challenges. And uh, right now, the consumption of energy is mainly uh, going through thermal dynamic processes. More than 90% of the processes uh, involve thermal phenomena. And uh, hence, the book, uh, Dealing with Thermodynamics and Energy Systems Analysis, is particularly well adapted to, to all these uh, dealing with all these questions of energy. Now, uh, of course, we'll have to go, uh, uh, the approach to, to solving our problems of the future are, are in several ways. It, there is, of course, the development of new technologies, particularly also for the use of renewable, but also the rational use of, of our present resources, which are absolutely crucial. And also, we need to have methodological approach that use appropriate criteria uh, for a sustainability and for making our energy systems more sustainable. So definitely when it comes to uh, uh, biofuels, the transition from biomass to something useful, it's going to be ex absolutely crucial and will involve thermal dynamic uh, phenomena and uh, thermal solar, both for water heating and for power, is going to be important and geothermal are among the main renewables that we are talking about. Yes, so in our book, what we uh, made a Take, took particular care was to be as exact as possible and keeping a rigor in in our way of treating the, ma the, the many subject and uh, uh, having an exact nomenclature even if it is introducing new uh, values um, is is for us essential so that is what we bring and this allowed us then to develop new expressions for example combining the first law the second law and the Gibbs equation in one very concise uh, general equation that can be applied to both uh, uh, open and closed systems is one of the things. We introduced new uh, notions, concepts like uh, the energy or exergy transformation, which allows to, to have a way to design the energy efficiencies and exergy efficiencies in, in a very accurate manner. Uh, uh, this particular distinguishing between the uh, uh, the services that we provide to the system and the services that the, the system provides, and uh, there also we made also some uh, interesting new new app. Application of cartoons to illustrate some of uh, the notions like the exergy, uh, exergy ball, where we can illustrate some of the key technologies of today's cogeneration, uh, heat pump, and so on in in a, in a funny way, but certainly uh, uh, still a robust way to explain things. Well, in fact, it is addressed to a broad audience. It goes from student to uh, academic uh, teachers. And, and to professional engineers, actually. And in, in our school, we use it both at the bachelor level, at the master level, and also at the doctoral level. And uh, it means that in, there are chapters that go more in depth, more detailed explanation, that are treated more at the master and uh, doctoral levels. But uh, uh, basically, we use the book for the whole uh, teaching that we do. Now, when it comes to professional engineers, I think that uh, the book itself uh, contains a number of uh, practical applications with very detailed uh, numerical modeling and uh, illustrating the concepts. And also, we have uh, uh, additionally another book uh, on exercise where there are solutions and there are uh, detailed solutions uh, showing the way. So it can be used also for people who want to do self-teaching uh, approach. And, uh, and some of the concepts that we show, uh, like the exergy efficiency, uh, we saw recently that it was even coming in a law in Switzerland, in a law on energy, there was the concept of exergy efficiency. So practitioners uh, art, uh, in the future will have to use more these kind of notions. And, and through our books, they would have the, the capability to do so.